I'm Sandy and I'm here at the new Pathways for Youth charity event and I'm standing with one of the guys who will be auctioned off this evening, pitcher for the Arizona Diamondbacks, Josh Colmenter. Now Josh, you are definitely not a stranger to going on blind dates. <laughs> you went on one last year in Australia, how did that turn out? It went well. Uh, it was uh, something I wanted to try and actually go in blind, so I had a lot of my teammates decide between like the six candidates, like finalists, so they picked one. And we met and looked at each other, like, since we're not paying for this, we just order whatever we want, right? So we're ordering, like, bottles of wine and seafood and everything. And it, we stayed in contact a little bit over Facebook for a while, but then I kind of fizzled out. But it was a good time. It was a good experience. No love connection? No. I think, if anything, maybe if I ever make it back to Australia, it's, you could look somebody up. And uh, she showed me around a few places. I got to drive, uh, like, one of the rental cars. And so we were driving around, and it's so weird because they drive on the other side of the road. And that took me a while, but I just wanted to try it to say I've done it. And uh, we got back. We didn't stretch the car. We didn't get in an accident or anything, so I made it. That's good. Was she nervous at all to get in the car with you since you've never driven on the other side? She wasn't. She was fine. But uh, we kind of had a little bit of like a chaperone that helped set it up and just made checked in every so often to make sure everything was going well. And she was freaking out because she like thought I was going to run into something or hit something. Uh, so she was being the like, typical backseat driver, like, stop, stop, this way, that way. Uh, but it was a lot of fun. Well, you're safe and you're here. Yes. And the future Mrs. Colmenter is still out there. She could be here this evening. Uh, you, know, <laughs> you never know. Um, we, we'll find out. She could bid on you. Yeah. And I mean, that's the biggest thing I'm interested in is seeing, like, who actually comes and bids. Like, I know one of the girls that did it last year said it was, like, a guy that kind of had a crush on her. So it was, like, a way that if you have the money, you can actually get a date. If someone's not willing to give you one, you just buy one. So I guess you force your way in there. So you didn't plant anyone or anything for tonight? Not that I know of. Uh, I told a bunch of people about it. So who comes and whoever ends up bidding, I'm not sure. But uh, uh, otherwise, I think it's going to be somebody completely new. You're not afraid it might be a stage five clinger or anything. <laughs> uh, great word usage there, but uh, I think that would be kind of even more entertaining, uh, especially since I have to spend like an hour and a half up there and then an hour and a half back in the car. Uh, so it could be one of those things where I'm just like, I'm going to stay in Sedona for a couple of days. You can go ahead and take the car back. You've just been the whole day with some random that you don't know yeah, in Sedona. Yeah, that's the date package. So we go up, get lunch, wine tour, and come back. So uh, I have, luckily, I've no, I never run out of things to say or talk about. So I'll be fine. So hopefully it's a, a good time and it's not uh, a stage five or anything like that. Well, it's all for charity, so that's the good part. Mm -hmm. Why is it so important for someone of your status to really give back and to be so involved with the community? I think it's great not only just to, to give back for the charity's sake, but I think uh, just to have a community involvement because, I mean, the fans are obviously what makes the sport. And it's fun to get connected with not only people in the community but other athletes from other teams and just to try to build a strong base especially in Phoenix it's such a transplant city that uh, a lot of t a lot of people root for teams from other sports so for us essentially if we're out there in the community and just showing your face around like people see that and respect that and especially when it's for a good cause like new pathways new pathways for youth and it does it it uh, it's for at risk youth and you can be a mentor would any of you guys or any of the teammates ever think of being a mentor yeah, we, I know we have some guys that not quite mentor, but they'll go into like Phoenix Children's Hospital a lot and visit some of the kids and check up on them and stuff. And I know Cynthia, one of the other bachelorettes being auctioned off, found out about this and did this last year and because of that became a mentor for a little while. But it'd be something, just because you know that you can help someone out and you're not doing it just in a donation or just financially, but you can actually have a, a real hands-on impact with somebody. And I think that's pretty neat. That is really awesome. And... Just to close it out, you did start gargoyling. <laughs> Can we gargoyle it right now? Do you think we, will you split your pants or do you uh, think my do, dress? If I do, I think it'll, it'll be it for the better. So we, yeah, we can give it a run. Okay, I'm gonna, can the camera go down? Okay, I'm gonna go uh, this way. Yeah, I'm gonna go. <laughs> Please don't rip I'm your do, pants. I'm do a but this is gargoyling yeah. <laughs> from the New Pathways for Youth charity event in Scottsdale, Arizona. I'm Sandy, that's Josh. We'll see you next time.